Hey, Dan Blue here. Let's go over how to make a great, concise, quick, and effective warm up. I'm not big on huge, long warm ups. I don't think we need to do a million exercises to get it done just because it becomes this really tedious thing. If every time you want to throw, you have to go through 20 minutes of all this and that. There's a lot of good things to do, but as far as getting your arm ready to throw, we're just going to go over a really quick, like three to five minute warm up that I think really targets all the muscles in throwing. And then if you just start, throwing lightly and doing drills and going through a progression that's going to help finish your warm-up off all right because i think throwing is still probably the best warm-up for throwing so number one we're going to do a couple different exercises just from like folded over in half so i'm just going to hinge at my hips keep a flat back and i'm going to do t's so i'm going to squeeze my shoulder blades together with my arms out next to my sides and i'm going to do somewhere between 12 and 20 of these then i'm going to go to y's so i'm reaching just slightly out in front and I'm going to do 12 to 20 Y raises. Again, you can do these without any weight. You can just do them in the outfield. Then I'm going to do L. So I'm going to lift my elbows up. I'm going to rotate. I'm going to rotate and drop. So this is starting to get the external rotators. And again, you can go slower is better, but going fast isn't the worst thing in the world because as you go fast, you're gonna to start to build that, that muscle pump where you're getting a lot of blood kind of rushing into the muscles. After that, we're gonna do scat punches. So I'm just gonna kind of have a split stance. I'm gonna reach out and I'm gonna pull my shoulder blades back. I'm gonna reach out and then I'm gonna pull my shoulder blades back. So the shoulder blades, they pinch back, they reach forward, and then they help our shoulder move throughout the full range of motion. So getting some of these punches, again, 12 to 20 reps, or like a minute or so, is good just again, to help hit the shoulder blades in all the sort of directions that they move. So those four, T's, Y's, L's, punches. Those are great four exercises to start with. And after that, I still think arm circles are very underrated. They've been around forever and they're great. Here's how you can do them. Go forward, small, forward, medium, forward, large. I don't think these big clapper ones are super important, but large is like pretty big, like a two foot circle. Then go backwards, small, medium, and then large. And then lastly, kind of like you're washing a car, forward, so small, medium, and then large and this is going to kind of end up being at more like a 45 degree angle than directly out in front and that's okay because the shoulders don't move quite as well out in front they work really well at about a 45 degree angle so if you go through t's y's l's punches forward arm circles backwards arm circles in small medium and large and then out in front arm circles in small medium large that's a really effective warm up. Your shoulders will be burning. They'll have a lot of blood and warmth pumped into them. So you'll be ready to go and then start your throwing progression from a short distance and from a low intensity. And that's really all you need. Again, you could do a tons of, there's tons of exercises for your shoulders, for hip mobility, for all this stuff. And they all have their place, but I think their place is probably somewhere not stacked right in front of your throwing session. Cause if you're stacking on a 20 to 30 minute uh, warm up before you can start throwing a ball, it just gets a little tedious over the long haul of your career because you're going to play your sport for 10, 15 years, hopefully 20 years. And if you always have to do that every time you warm up, it just gets to be a slog. So keep it, keep it concise, keep it quick, make it effective, but don't overdo your warm up. And I think over the long haul, everyone will be happier from a coaching and player perspective.